Hey guys, this is Profit, and you're watching Profit Next Gen. And this is the Division Patch Notes 1.0.2 for March 22nd. First, I'd like to start off by saying there was a much needed patch, and these are all great fixes, and I'm happy with what they're doing right now. So, this is a list of all the changes that we're we'll implementing during the server maintenance tomorrow on March 22nd. For gameplay, named enemies will drop better loot in challenge mode than in hard mode. Added a cooldown period for the static turn stun attack in order to avoid stun lock in PvP and PvE game modes. Named NPCs will no longer respawn after being killed in the open world. This will prevent situations where players were able to kill the same NPC over and over again. And you guys all know which one I'm talking about. Modifications to the weapon talent trained. It can now only be rolled on a shotgun, marksman rifles and pistols. Its bonuses had been reduced from 1 to 5% to a constant 0.1%. For the Midas SMGs, train talent has been replaced with a responsive talent which increases damage when getting close to the target. This applies to existing weapons as well as newly acquired ones. For all SMGs, LMGs and assault rifles, it will be replaced with another randomly picked weapon talent. This applies to existing weapons as well as newly acquired ones. Fixed a speedrun exploit for the rooftop comm relay mission. Fixed an issue where weapons dealt no damage if the reload animation was interrupted by an agent skill. Fixed an issue where players became stuck in an emote animation if activated via chat while auto running. Fixed a bug where skill power would be increased permanently while using the death by proxy talent. Fixed a bug where experience was not being awarded for completing all side missions in the Midtown East safe house. Fixed instances where the Seeker Mine with Airburst Multi-Mine Mod would detonate too soon, miss targets or cause no damage. Fixed a bug where grenades were sometimes not displayed the blast radius warning before detonating. Fixed an issue where some NPCs in low cover would not react to being shot by the player. Fixed an issue where emotes would cause the player model to behave oddly, missing guns, player stuck in an emote animation, etc. Fixed an issue where DPS would not be calculated properly when purchasing a new weapon mod. Now this is the part where I'm really excited, the Dark Zone ones. Players can now heal other neutral players in the Dark Zone by using first aid and support station skills. I love that. Players are now able to fast travel to Dark Zone checkpoints, but only when coming from outside the Dark Zone. The Dark Zone disconnect timer has been increased from to 30 seconds, meaning players will remain in the game world longer when logging out while in the Dark Zone. This applies while not in combat. Items extracted from the Dark Zone are now properly marked as new items and moved to the player's inventory. Players killed in the Dark Zone now drop ammo, medkits and grenades. This loot is generated and not taken from dying player's inventory. Players killed in the Dark Zone will lose less Dark Zone funds and experience, rogue and non-rogue. Thank God! Dark Zone funds and experience rewards for surviving rogue status have been improved. Dark Zone funds and experience rewards for killing rogue agents have been improved. Phoenix credits drop have an increased level 31 and 32 enemies in the Dark Zone. Level 30 give 1 to 3 Phoenix credits. Level 31, 2 to 4. Level 32, 3 to 5 Phoenix credits. Increased drop rate of high end items from level 31 and 32 named NPCs in the Dark Zone. Increased drop rate of high end division tech material from level 32 NPCs in the Dark Zone. Improved Dark Zone chest item quality. Rank 30 chests will now drop superior purple items instead of specialized blue. Key chests now have a chance to drop high end gold items. Dark Zone funds drop rates in and quali quantity of NPCs have been reduced. Fixed a bug where the wildfire and fear tactic talents were affecting neutral players in the Dark Zone. Fixed instances where players would receive a Delta error message when re-entering the Dark Zone. Fixed a bug where sometimes players could not loot anything after returning to the game following a network disconnection. Fixed a stage 1 rogue timers not displaying correctly when rogue players receive damage from another player. That's a big one for me. Graphics. Fixed a few lights that did not cast global illumination. UI. Added more information for daily missions on the map. 
tutorials have received some UI polish. The matchmaking menu now displays the mission difficulty rating more prominently. The minimap mission tracker has been optimized to be less confusing to players. Fix the bug where some of the attributes for high-end equipment were cut off in re the recalibration menu. Fix the bug where the matchmaking menu for a mission would not display correctly or kept disappearing. Fix the missing item icons in the reward claims vendor's inventory. Fix incorrect side missions being displayed on the map legend. Audio fixes. Fix the bug where the helicopter crash sound effects would be missing from the Brooklyn End cinematic. Fix the bug where the zapper turret mod had no sound. Fix the bug where the audio for entering a contaminated area would be cut off. Fix the bug where audio would not play when scrolling through vanity items. PC, Toby eye tracking bug fixes and improvements on launch. The PC client now monitors PC gaming settings and applies the best settings for the user's configuration. This is unless the user has custom settings. Fixed an issue where the map was sometimes difficult to navigate with a mouse. Fixed issues with Hungarian, Korean, and Russian localizations. Fixed an issue that prevented matchmaking while on the map. Remove the store button from the character selection screen on PC versions of the game. Players can find the store page on the Ubisoft Club app directly. Fixed increment number on day one patch notes was 1.1, now correctly states 1.01. Xbox One. Fixed a bug where players could not reconnect to the servers after suspending the game on Xbox One. Fixed a bug on Xbox One where unblocking a player would not be reflected in-game until title reboot. For PlayStation 4, added an option to disable the PlayStation 4 controller speaker. Improves textures and model streaming speed. Fixed an issue where Isaac volume could get too loud when playing with headsets. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited for the new patch, especially the DZ fixes. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can get notified of all future videos, news, and live streams. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the patch notes. Which ones are your favorite? Which ones are you look forward to? Which ones are you dreading? Guys, you're watching Profit Next Gen, and until next time, I'll see you in the DZ. Peace out.